when watching the first episode of this anime, I was like, eh, not feeling the vibe. But suddenly, I was like, what the heck? How's this so fucking cute? Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, see those clips? Okay, really though, anyone that has heard of the foolish angel dancing with the devil or has watched it a little bit and actually potentially dropped it. Oh man, you're missing out a lot. The first episode, it seems like that Amane and Akatsu being the devil, they Amane being the angel. It's actually really bad and just taking advantage of Akatsu. You're like, uh, oh, not really into this, you know, like from something like that to actually the whole show being a very sweet genre, like a wholesome thing. Like my best way to put it is like Kaguya-sama and the angel next door was rotten. You can get an understanding of where that's going. It's, it's really focused a lot on the romance part. Anyone that has passed the first episode and actually even finished the show already knows how underappreciated the series is. And to be honest, I can see why people didn't want to continue watching because even I was kind of dissatisfied with, I don't know, just seeing the beginning and uh, it just, I don't know, made me question to keep watching. So if you are looking for a rom-com series that has recently came out and just looking for something fresh, then this is the series for you. And surely it's not because I am um, in a phase of... It's just because of you have that dynamic of the comedy side of like, ah oh, yes, let's, let me try to get you to fall in love with me too. It's like, oh, this is so sweet. They're helping each other. From the first episode, you don't think that at all because of how the expectations are. But in reality, you're like, what the heck? This, this is actually much more wholesome than I thought. I mean, admittedly, at least to me, the boxing scene, I was like, uh, it's a little dragged out a little bit, but they end up cutting that like really quickly. The Easter egg is that it's Goku and Luffy's voice actors. The first idea was like to take advantage of whoever and or for their main mission. And but then in reality, it was a lot. They end up cutting, letting that go. And they start living in the present and just really started to enjoy each other's company. And I think that's what ca cap captures your heart. And I mean, hey, Amane's voice actor, I mean, shoot, I mean, it's, it has one character in Blue Archive. She does a really good job in playing her role in with her lines and you just, yeah, you can't help it. It's just sweet. Maybe it's just me having a phase. Oh no. Come on, look at the expression. Like, you can't tell me that's not cute. Come on now. Oh no. Wow. Also, the fact that the comedic timing with some of the things that have that are in there. Then you have that scene with Mr. Optional with the uh, Hunter Hunter reference. And then... <laughs> And then uh, also the thing about bringing up Sensei all the time too. I don't know about that. <laughs> and then besides the cute part, if that's not for you, at least there's the Avatar. But honestly, fuck her brother. And the reason why is because Amane still, despite being an angel, she's still pretty much an outcast. Which is a nice change of pace when you do get to see Amane and Akatsu together. And especially after episode 5, you'll get to see some spicy stuff. I think everyone agrees that it's actually a lot un more underappreciated than, than people gave it a chance to. And I mean, even like the comments when watching the series, I remember seeing how people also agreed with that. If it's not already surprising, I really like this anime just because of how, one, surprising it, it was to you know, from the first episode, but also the fact that you get to re really see the, the conflict with just trying to get at each other with their flirting skills, their W Riz, and ends up end up being really, really funny and really uh, surprisingly enjoyable. I don't know, it's just really fun to see them interact with each other and just seeing that how it gradually, the relationship gets stronger over time with, you know, just the little things. I don't know, I found much joy in that and I hope I can share that experience with you. I really hope this has a season two, but if not, at least it gets a lot of us here to start reading the manga. Damn. Having a hug for my money would be so sweet. <laughs> Anyways, that's pretty much it. See ya. I mean, she does a really good role for her. Uh, she does a really good... She... Fuck!